What did you get us, Mike? I got you. I got you. Ah, uh, look at all this cuteness. Cherry. Mmm, it looks so cute. Look at the different layers. Those are tangy. Tangy, fruity flavors. Blue bunch, green apple, and cherry. So happy to look at. So happy, such happy covers. Red hot. What is red hot? It's a cinnamon. Cinnamon flavor. Ah, and then Oreo. I've never had Oreo candy canes. Me neither. And this one? That is another red hot ah. we got for free. Wow, so many different candy canes. Ooh. Yes, they're hard to find. Is that what you said? Were they hard to find a little bit this year? Yeah, for us. For us. And it could be that, that mm. they're just not uh, available yet. But I, I didn't want to take any risk. So I got them in Belgium. Yeah. From Belgium. You know, you know what I love? What we discovered uh, that you can do with candy canes, of course, you can just eat them and enjoy them as candy canes. But yeah, you, can you can also eat them. You, you know? can also crush them and then sprinkle them on whatever you make, like cappuccino or whatever. Mm -hmm. And that way you'll make your cappuccino, your coffee, a little bit Christmas here. Or, then, then they need to be peppermint. Oh well, yeah, I don't think they need to be uh, anything is no anything will good will do I think. Cherry, because when you crush them, they have all these different colors, so that makes your coffee look uh, festive. Plus, festive. Plus the the, the, the um, taste is always good. Yeah, I like them. Good find. Yeah. So nice. we were just looking at the calories, guys, and I must say it's not shockingly too much at all, actually. Look, this one, for example, the sweet tarts. Only 50 calories per candy cane. And the Oreo 45. The Oreo 45, so that one is really low. And the Red Hots. The Red Hots is 50. It's This one is 45. Yeah, yeah it's not bad. And those 50 and even 50 is just one, five ca uh, calories more. So. so even if you're doing calorie counting like we do, that shouldn't keep you from enjoying these, especially around the holidays. So I'm definitely going to enjoy some. Guys, today we're gonna to make something uh, from my childhood, from Mike's childhood. So it's both something that's very dear to us. But this is, yeah, this is something's gonna be um, the version with a little bit less calories. Yeah, so that's what you see here. So what you do is, if you have some old bread, or if you have bread from the freezer, defrost it in one of these, we did review of this, you guys loved it, of this thing. Defrost it a little bit, not too much. And then um, it just in, an, uh, in a plate like this, not too uh, deep. Add a little bit of milk, like this. And then, oh, I need to do this. Wait, 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 it's, it's on high, it's on high. I need to flip this guy, so. Add a little bit of butter. A little bit of butter, look it's on five, maybe it's a little bit too high. So you take your bread, you soak it in a little bit of milk, like this on both sides, okay? And since we're in the holidays, this is scrambled eggs with a little bit of cinnamon. Again, your plate should not be too deep because otherwise it's gonna take just too much we don't want that we're still minding our calories and then there it goes okay just a little bit of butter no oil and not too much butter and i'm gonna do the last one let's do the last one oh but then i need a little bit more egg so i'm gonna scramble a little egg and um finish this guys but yeah here you can see the result this is a little bit of an omelette, did you see? This is not because it's burnt. This is the kind of omelette coating that you can create. It's delicious. Delicious! And now we're gonna make some coffee. You're gonna enjoy it. Very easy. All right, nothing to it. Happy holidays. If for your last batch you're left with a little bit more scrambled eggs, just throw it on top of it like this. Sure, why not? Go with it. Et voila, there it is, guys. A cozy, cute little breakfast for those days when you need it. And that's practically, you know, on the weekends. Treat yourself extra on the weekends, especially around the holidays. Whatever holidays you're celebrating. Here it is. Mmm, smells so good. 
Look at that. See, not greasy, not fatty. Perfect. Oh, you guys, look at that mist. Foggy. So foggy. Mmm, it's really the holidays. Outside and inside. Guys, you know how we showed you this one right here? Well, we had to get another one for the mantle. But apparently we stumbled upon um, a big, what is in the making of becoming a big hit because it's selling out. So for this one, we had to wait. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous, look at it. It's really gorgeous, <laughs> love it. Uh, so I can see, I can't wait to see what Mike can do with this. To be creative and see what he can do I with the mantle. I think Mike is going to take a shower yeah, first. Yeah, I'm going to take a shower first. I'm sorry, honey. It is 35 <laughs> euros and it's really, really beautiful. Yeah. That's very nice. Yeah. Can't wait. Can't wait. So guys, if you happen to be in Holland, just get one because they're selling out like crazy. All right. Yes. Wow. That is crazy. Crazy. Fantastic. That is crazy. You're like the Mickey Mouse. The, I know. What is it? The Wizard Apprentice? The Sorcerer's Apprentice. Whoa, look at this thing, how big it is. Kinder Sur Surprise. So big. Usually we don't get these bigger ones. I must say they're really cute and they make for great, great decoration on your table or whatever. Or as a gift, of course, as a gift. There's a toy in it. But this is not why we're here. Well, partially. We're here because Mike got us something really fun. Wait. This is fun. It is fun, isn't it? Look at this, it's, it's pine cone. Let's put this underneath, first thing. It's, it's a very heavy pine cone. Look, and it has a hook. Because this is the way that you can use what Mike already did here, to hang your Christmas stocking on. Remember how I showed you yesterday in a video that this one kept falling? Well, it didn't keep falling, but every now and then it would fall off because of the weight. Well, now you can use this. It's really classy and it fits within the Christmas theming look because we already have some pine cones here and here. It's so gorgeous. It's really beautiful. It looks authentic. It looks like something that Mike could have got from a uh, thrift shop, but it's not, it's new. And I must say, I'm surprised that it wasn't that expensive. It wasn't that expensive, Mike. No, it was uh, 18 euros. 18 euros. And it's really heavy. It's really heavy. I mean, you can do some really serious damage with this if you get it on your foot, so don't do that. But you it's... You can uh, fill up your stocking. Fill up your stocking? Yeah. With huh? a lot of presents. <laughs> oh, yeah, you mean now. Yes, 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 yes. So if you want to get more gifts, just use this and then tell your family about it. <laughs> Give them a hint. Look, guys. This now can support a lot of uh, a lot of weight. It can support a very heavy Christmas stockings, just so that you know. Wink, wink. But yeah, seriously, it's really nice. I really, really love it. And look, there's even a place for a candle. And with th that's how it was advertised, right? Place for a candle. So it's it's also a candle a candle holder. And you can use one of these candles, these electronic candles. Ah, I just love it. I just love it. And look at these cute mini uh, Christmas uh, trees. And look what Mike did with it. Isn't this the most super adorable thing? So you have here these little bows and then these mini candy canes. I just love it. I just love it. That whole corner. So cute. So there it is. There it is. It hangs beautifully. Both of them, see? So now I need to find a way to stock up, hence the Christmas stocking. Not the, not the egg. Huh, not the egg? 
Not a big egg in there. Well, if I throw about 10 or 15 big eggs in there, that should do the trick. Oh, the kinder egg. Maybe I can find you some ostrich eggs. Those are big too. Kinder egg. What about this? What about the kinder egg? You do not want that one in there, right? No, next to the heater. Oh, yeah. No, I was just kidding. I think there's a can. Is this one of those chocolates that's actually in a can? I've seen one of these. Little can inside and then the chocolate's in there. Or is this the outer layer? The chocolate, not really sure. I don't know. Anyway, I love it. Yeah. I love it. It's cute. It's cute. All right, that was it. Guys, look at that. Not joking. They just they, they just look better. They just stuff them. We stuff them. Yeah, look at that. Fucking stuff them. They just hang better. And yes, we also stuff them, so that gives them a little bit of more volume. So they won't look that sad anymore. But uh, beautiful, beautiful. And with this here in in between, yes. I think the Santa needs to comb his beard. Santa needs to comb his beard. Oh, oh, my Santa. Yeah. <laughs> he represents me. I'm a little bit willy nilly. Anyway, there it is. So, like I said, you can also stick candles in them. And this is what Mike got us. You can stick candles in them. You can stick candles. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I just, I was just filming a little bit of the peak of the day, the Christmas candles. But then right after I'm doing this. But for you guys, it's supposed to be the following of that little bit that we just did about these. So it's a little bit confusing for Mike, maybe, because it's much later on. Yeah. But yeah, so this weight has... Completely confused. He was confused, yeah. It has this, where you can stick a candle. And for that, we have these. Stick a candle in me. <laughs> stick a knife in me. Stick a candle in me. Yeah. Anyway, let's see how this will work out. So guys, alas, this is too narrow for these kind of candles to fit in there. But maybe if you have like a real candle, you can just kind of yeah, squeeze it in it there. It needs to be a, a candle that's not so thick. But then again, do you trust a burning candle in something like this? I don't know. I know we don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't trust it. So I don't know. So I thought if any candle would go in there, it would be one of these artificial candles. But we're certainly not going to do any candles in here that are actually burning. Wouldn't trust it. So I think we're just gonna use it like this. And I love it again. I love it they had two different designs. This is the pine cone and I just love it because it just goes so well. Look, with actual pine cones, like I said, and with this whole, this whole vibe that we have going on here. See? Gorgeous, gorgeous. Guys, look at that rain. Yes, so we're in the transition from autumn to winter. More rain, more cold. Renee, if you happen to be watching this, you just told me that um, you guys are already getting snow in New, in, in New York. Yeah, I think you guys were in New York. Yeah, about time, yeah. Stay warm, stay cozy.